Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how anyone can easily create professional brand logos using the Canva Logo Maker. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified each time I release a new tutorial. When launching a new brand, one of the first things you'll need to do is create an eye-catching logo. Your logo will help define your brand and will be seen on your websites, brand pages, online content, and maybe even your products. I've created dozens of brands over the years, and one of my favorite places to create high quality logos is Canva. You can forget about paying hundreds of dollars to some online designer for a simple logo. With Canva, you can access tens of thousands of pre-made logo templates that you can fully customize to create a logo for your brand. In this video, I'll be going through the entire process of how to quickly create a new brand logo using the Canva templates. To access Canva and the pre-made logo templates, go ahead and click the link in the video description. Now that you've joined Canva, let's start by checking out the thousands of pre-made logo templates that are available for you to use. To access the logo templates, let's look at the menu at the top and go to the Templates tab. From the drop-down menu, you should see a section that says Business. Let's look here and click on Logos. This will take you to a page where you can view over 19,000 different logo templates that are available on Canva. They have logo templates for almost any niche or topic that you can think of. There are all sorts of different logo styles and designs that you can browse through. But to be honest, it really doesn't matter which one you pick because they're all fully customizable. The logo you select may look completely different by the time you're done with it. So as an example, Let's create my logo using this logo template here. When you select a template, you'll see a window pop up showing you more details about the design. Go ahead and click on the blue Customize This Template button. This should open up the Canva Design Editor where you can start customizing your template and creating your logo. If you wanted to browse or search for other templates, you could do this from the Templates tab in the menu on the left hand side. They have some free templates available, but to access all the templates, you'll need a Canva Pro account. So now let's go through the process to create a new logo for my example brand, The Coffee Shop. The first thing I'm going to do is update the template text. To change your text elements, simply select it on the template, then type in whatever you want it to say. Most templates will have multiple text areas that you can edit, and if you like, you can add more text or remove an element. You can also resize your text and your images by simply clicking it and dragging the corners. If you need to rearrange your elements, simply click it and drag it to the correct location. If you like, you can also use the menu up top to adjust your text size and make other changes as well. There are all sorts of tools in the menu bar here that you can use to customize your design. For example, if I wanted to decrease the space between my letters, I could click the spacing icon here and use the slider bar beside letter spacing to decrease or increase the space between my letters. So my new logo text now reads, The Coffee Shop, Hot Styles, Cool Beans. This example brand could be to sell t-shirts and hoodies, other products, or maybe even espresso shots to coffee lovers. Now that I've changed what my text says, let's change the way it looks. When you click to select a text element, you'll see the menu pop up up top here. To change your font, simply use the option here. You can then browse through the hundreds of different fonts that are available on Canva to use for your design. For my design, I think I want to use a bold font. So let's go up to the search bar here and type in bold. You should then see all the fonts on Canva that are related to that keyword. So as an example, I think I'll go with this cool looking font here. When you select a new font, your text on your template should automatically update. But as you know, fonts come in all shapes and sizes, so when you select a new font, you may have to resize or rearrange it a bit. So now that I've selected my font, let's see if we can make my text stand out a bit more. With my text selected, let's look at the top menu and click on the Effects tab. Here's where you can select through all sorts of different styles that you can add to your text. This includes a shadow effect, a lift effect, a hollow effect, a splice effect, an echo, a glitch, a neon effect, and a background. All of these effects can be really cool in certain circumstances, but for my logo, I think I'm going to go with the splice. 
Underneath each effect, they'll also have other settings that you can adjust as well. I think I'll adjust the color of my splice to this light green here. There we go. I think that looks much better. Now that I'm finished with my text, I can now update my logo image. With a name like the coffee shop, I can't be rolling with a picture of a salad bowl. So let's delete this and find a more suitable image for my logo. If you already have your own image to use for your logo, you can upload it by using the uploads tab from the menu on the left hand side here. But for this example, I'm going to be searching for my image using the Canva library. If we go to the elements tab here, we can browse the Canva library for tons of different graphics, photos, videos, and other elements. So for my main graphic, let's go to the search bar and look up coffee cup. This should pull up tons of different elements related to that keyword. But for my logo, I'm only looking for the graphics, so let's select the graphics tab at the top here. This should sort your search results to show only the graphics related to coffee cups. As you can see, they have all sorts of different images and designs that you can use. They have a lot of free graphics, but to access all the graphics, you'll need a Canva Pro account. So for my logo, let's go with this Canva Pro image here. Once you add your new graphic, go ahead and resize it and move it to the right location. One cool thing about using the images on Canva is that you can actually change the color for most of the graphics. If we look at the menu up top here, we can see that this graphic actually has two color options. When adjusting your colors, make sure you use your brand colors. There we go. I think this is starting to look like a pretty good logo for the coffee shop. But to make it stand out a bit more, I think I'll add a couple of more elements. From the elements tab, let's go up to the search bar and search for coffee leaves. So let's see what we find here. The great thing about Canva is that each template is fully customizable. With a little creativity, you can create almost any logo or design that you can think of. So for my logo, let's add this coffee leaf element here and see how it looks. I think this will work great. So let's move this to the right side of my logo and make it a bit smaller. If you click this round icon at the bottom of the element, you can also change its orientation. There we go. So now that I'm done with the right side, let's copy the element and paste the copy to our template. I can now move the copy over to the left side of my logo and use the flip tab at the top menu to flip it horizontally. Take your time and go ahead and make any final adjustments that you want to make to your logo. Once everything looks good, go ahead and look at the top of the page and click the download button. This should open up a drop down menu where you can select your download settings. Under file type, make sure you have PNG selected. If you like, you can also adjust the size of your export using the slider bar here. And if you plan to use your logo on business cards, t-shirts, or any other product, make sure you select to export with a transparent background. Without selecting this, your logo will be exported with a white or colored square behind it. But in order to resize your logo and export with a transparent background, you'll need a Canva Pro account. So once you're finished adjusting your settings, go ahead and click the download button. Your new logo should then be exported and downloaded to your computer. So here's the new brand logo that I just created using Canva. For a made up company, I think the coffee shop logo turned out pretty good. I can now add my logo to business cards, my products, or anything else I wish. So that's a quick overview of how to use Canva to create an awesome logo for your brand. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.